This review is also a comparison. I'm doing both Albanese and Haribo. Now, my son got the Haribo at um, at a store. He got it really cheap. Um, and these gold, these you know, it's got five flavors of the gold bears: um, orange, lemon, pineapple, strawberry, and raspberry. He was going to give me his open bag, but he had already eaten all the raspberry flavored ones out of it. There are the nutrition facts and the ingredients for you. And it does have glucose syrup instead of corn syrup. Oh, wait. Oh, it could be from wheat or corn. It's got sugar. Uh, let's see. Is there any, what does it say about gelatin? Anything? Oh, it does say gelatin. Unfortunately, it does not indicate... Oh, this is made in Germany, not in the U.S. Um, it's uh, Mondelez brand. Mondelez owns this company. Um... Yeah, I don't see any indication that this is kosher or parv or halal. Therefore, Jews and Muslims probably would want to avoid this product because it may use pe uh, gelatin from pigs. Um, yeah, and then we've got the Albanese, which they claim is the world's best. It's sherbet gummy bears, and they are fat-free, gluten-free, and low sodium. There are three flavors: lime, yeah, and strawberry and orange. And I. Squishing them like this, I, I, I really don't, I think these are, well, I think these are a bit firmer than, I think these are more squishy, but we'll see, we'll see. And uh, thanks to Big Lots for providing this, um, it wasn't specific to me, it's just every once in a while they give their members a free gift, and this is the most recent one. I, I should have gotten the last one, it was adrenaline, I wanted to try it, but I was just too lazy to go over there and get it. Um, so this is the orange one. As you can see, it's got orange and off-white. It is chewy, but not difficult to chew. Clearly, um, to me, it seems like the flavor is it is it, well it is kind of orange but it's not like a proper orange um i don't see hold on a second i'm trying to see oh it does use both natural and artificial flavors it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to read but there you go yeah um so let's go ahead and open up this one and then i can try to get a, an orange one out for comparison. Now remember that was orange sherbet, so it would taste, it would, you should, I, I would expect it to taste different. Sherbet tends to be pretty powerful flavored in comparison to the actual fruit it's mimicking. Okay, so right away I can feel this is a much denser material. Whereas I could chew very easily, I could chew through the um, Albanese brand. This, I can't just bite through it. It takes a lot of effort to squish it enough that it breaks it apart. I, I, obviously, with my incisors, I can do But even then, it's hard. The Albanese is much softer. Um... It's not quite as powerful of, as, of an orange flavor. It's okay. Um, you have to let it sit in your mouth for a while for the orange yeah. flavor. Yeah. So I, I would I would say that for the hardy bow, this is more like um, something you want to have keep in your mouth for a while, which is wonderful for your teeth and gums, of course. You know all that sugar being converted into acid by the bacteria in your mouth. <laughs> Shut up, Glenn. Um, but. Um, it's definitely difficult to chew, the hard bow that is, um, and therefore it's more like a, a hard candy in that respect. Not that it's hard, it's, it is chewy, uh, it's just not easy to chew. Okay, so let me try another kind of Albanese. Let's see if I can, yep, I got it. I got the pink one, which is strawberry. Beep, 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 beep. He's coming out butt first. Oh no! Um. Yeah, so with one chew, I chewed through it. Much, much softer. 
I, I personally like that. But if you want to just let it melt in your mouth, you certainly could. Um, I suppose the one, the uh, Haribo's might last longer since they are firmer, a lot firmer. So that was a nice uh, strawberry-ish, strawberry-ish flavor. Um, not exactly, but it's okay. And let me just get the, the, get the lime one out. Oh, look at it. It's coming out. Here, I'm going to turn it around so you can see him. He's peeking out. Can you see him peek out? Oh, there he goes. Ah, he's coming out. He's coming out. He's coming out. Ow! Hmm. <laughs> so it's got a limeish flavor. Um, obviously not an exact flavor. It's not a really super sour or anything like that. Sweet and sour. Um... It's a nice balance. It's not overwhelming or anything like that, as are all three flavors. Yeah, so yeah, clean out my mouth here for a sec. Okay. So um, thanks again to Big Lots for uh, their. I guess it would be a call to member loyalty program where you get periodic free gifts. Um, yeah. Um, it's nice. You know, UDF does that too. Aldi, Meyer, Kroger, I've never seen them contact me saying, Hey, we got something free for you. But these guys do. And that's kind of cool. Okay, so we're going to go back to the uh, Haribo Gold Bears. I want to try some of the other flavors, especially the red one. It seems to be that that is my son's absolute favorite since he ate all of them out of the first, <gasps> sorry, the first bag. Is it safe? No, it's not safe. <laughs> so again, very firm. It gives, right? It squishes, but it doesn't make it easy for you to destroy it. It's got a mild raspberry flavor. I would certainly like to see the flavor bumped up to another, um, to a, a much more pronounced level, but for people who like milder flavors and it's probably um it's probably why it's so popular because the flavor isn't overwhelming. Son, you want this? Okay. Hmm. Hey. So yeah, that's not bad but not what I was expecting. Um, all right, so now I've got the, uh, is that pineapple? Or, yeah, no, lemon. Oh, I found the lemon guy. Oh, and he's coming out, but, oh, head first, there he is. Oh, it was, sorry, it was his butt first. I could tell by his feet sticking in my, my tongue. <laughs> So this is less pronounced than the lime of the uh, Albanese. Uh, of course, this is lemon, but still less pronounced. I mean, lemon and lime are pretty comparable in terms of the intensity of their flavor. Although there's, you know, some slight difference in the flavors. But I don't know. This is pretty mellow for a lemon. Not satisfying to me. Again, it's um, too weak. It, the, the lemon flavor is just kind of drowned in whatever else they're using that conflicts with it. So, I'm not satisfied. I like a cleaner lemon than that. Well, stronger. Alright, let's see if I can get the um, strawberry out. Is it coming out head first or butt first? What do you think? Pause and write in the comments. Head or butt? Here it comes. Here it comes. It's head first. Oh, no, it's butt first. Hmm. 
That's a very mild strawberry. Did I say watermelon before? Sorry, it's strawberry. Um, it's not even clear to me that it's strawberry by the flavor. Oh, then again, the one from Albany also is not clear. All right, let's find that pineapple one. And then we are done with this. I think that's a pineapple. Or, sorry. Yeah, I think that's the right one. I think I got it. Um, put it in the comments, heads or tails, for the pineapple. Are you ready? There it is. <laughs> heads! It's heads! <laughs> I'm really hoping for this one to be satisfying. That actually is the closest to the, the to a proper flavor of the five. Uh, from Haribo. Um, it actually tastes close enough to pineapple that I, I actually like that one um, better than the other four flavors. So interesting, some interesting notes about the differences between these two brands is um, the Haribo 30 grams is 100 calories. In the uh, Albany's 32 grams is 100 calories, so there's slightly le fewer calories in the Albanese compared to the Haribo. Um, also, the Albanese has um, 15 milligrams of sodium versus 5 in the Haribo. Mm, neither of them have cholesterol, of, um, which is good. Um, Albanese has 22 grams of um, Carbohydrates versus 23 in the Haribo. Both of them are 14 grams of sugar. And Albany's has only one gram of protein, whereas Haribo has two. It doesn't provide a bunch, much of anything in the way of like um, vitamins, minerals, or anything else, really. It's, so it's, you know, it's candy. What do you expect, right? So, personally, I prefer a softer gummy that I can actually chew without too much trouble um, and I prefer the flavor of the Albanese so that would be my preference but if you want something that's much firmer still chewy but firmer um, and milder flavors then you probably would like the Haribo better or you can just try them both and see which one you prefer you know the interesting thing about it is this cost a dollar for four ounces this cost a dollar for three and a half ounces. Now, this was at the Dollar Tree. This was at Big Lots. Um, I didn't look at the cost of the larger bags that they had at the front desk, so I'm, I'm at the cashier. I'm sorry about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's my review and comparison. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.